Hello everyone. Greetings to all of you. Myself, Dr. Nikita Suresh Aurangi. I am the faculty of Department of Management Studies from Changu Khana Thakur College of Art, Science and Commerce, Autonomous. So today, in this video, we are going to learn about the subject Corporate Finance. So moving ahead to the Corporate Finance, let us first discuss what is Finance. So Finance is basically a term which have definitions of other terms included itself. So it can be a form of investment, money, income, death, risk, loan, bank loan, interest rate. So all over the finance deals with the term of money and the related synonyms. So now what exactly the finance means? The so finance first is defined as an art and science of managing the funds and the related assets. It is basically required for the procurement of funds. Procurement of funds means where you need a funds and how you are going to utilize it into the business operation and its effective utilization into the business operations. There are several business operations. Uh, it starts from raw material, then manufacturing, then production, selling and distribution, office and expenses, labeling, advertising, marketing, and then end to earn a profit. So finance is basically a management of flow of monetary resources within the organization through the organization it can be a cash flow cash flow can be in the form of outflow or can be in the form of an inflow so first discuss what the finance means and how it is being defined the finance is defined as the management of a money which includes the activities such as investment of money by investing activity, borrowing and lending of money by use of uh, sources of finance and application of these finance, then budgeting, budgeting means planning and making a decision where to invest and last is forecasting. Forecasting means how you are going to plan or predict the future deficiency or the utilization of the funds. So in finance categories, there are three types of finance first is personal finance second is corporate finance and third is major the public finance so let us first discuss about what is personal finance so personal finance is basically the management of the individual one's own money into the different heads for example if i am a person who is earning a salary so how i am going to plan my salary dividation in the forms of different types of investment I will have sort of investment into my bank as an FD, some kind of loan I will acquire from the bank for the purchase of any kind of an investment such as investment into the property, fixed assets or can be a tangible or intangible assets. So our personal finance came from the employment which generates us a salary. We can use that finance into the mortgage, insurance, we can have this investment option also. We can also personally manage our money for the retirement plans. At the end of the financial year, we can take the advantages by, may or by making an investment into the funds. It is a kind of a social security and thus we are planning our whole saving into the different allocation of risk and measures. Now moving ahead, our third type is public finance. The public finance is basically a field of a finance where the government decide how to raise the money from the people. So this money is being raised from the people by issuing bonds and securities and thus the government provide interest rate flexible charges to the public and these public finance is being utilized for the public and social welfare purposes. So sometimes we also called as public finance is the public sector economic finance. So Public finance is basically how government raise money from the public. The government can raise money at the state level, at the local level as well as at the national level. So why public finance is important? Public finance is basically important to make the road construction for the social welfare purpose, for removing the inequality in the society, for removing the poverty or for removing the unempowerment, for bringing the stability, to, stability into the economy and social welfare. Thus, there are the major objective of public finance is to maintain price stability into the market, bring the economic equalities into the market, reduce the inequality and growth for the economic and social development and last to manage all the public needs of the society. Our major main topic concern about what is corporate finance. So moving ahead to the corporate finance, it is basically defined as a financial activity which is related to running the corporation. 
in simple meaning corporate finance is primarily concerned with maximizing the shareholders wealth or you can say the shareholders value in terms of long term as well as short term financial planning by implementation of various strategy to look into the below very detail corporate finance is a basically major field of a finance which also deals with capital structuring accounting and investment decision it starts from getting the capital investment into the company and at lastly it will focus on our tax deductions tax advantages looking into below the tax consideration and this corporate finance activity involves the various kinds of budgeting facilities into the capital we have to discuss about what capital and being in, introduced into the business in the form of an equity or in the form of a debt so this capital finance is basically the corporate finance which manages the working capital of the company and also provide shareholders a fruitful dividends also corporate finance is concerned with how business is going to utilize these funds into their various operation by maximizing the profit or minimizing the cost it also deals with to looking after below the daily cash inflow and daily cash outflow into the business operation and by fulfilling the long term financial goals for requirement of more finance company can also go for ipos by issuing bonds and security or either can refer to the secondary market operation the corporate finance hence deals with monitoring of all the cash related activities in the form of inflow and outflow preparing a financial statement financial statement in the form of income and revenue statement and balance sheet at the end and also to tally first they will look on to below the trial balance also and the taxation parts so it is helps in determining which amount is being issued from a particular shareholder and that amount should be returned back to you in the form of a dividend so corporate finance is also help in the dynamic nature by providing fruitful dividends to the shareholders so what are the corporate finance activities the corporate finance activities have three major part first is the capital investment capital investment is means at the beginning of the company company decides to raise the money from the public or to raise the money by issuing bonds and security in the name of the corporate so they decide what amount of funds to be raised and how they are going to utilize that fund into the business and to adjust that risk according to the return availability so that is the capital investment secondly capital financing capital financing means how the funds are being determined into the investment and to optimize the capital structure capital structure there are two types of capital structure first is the equity structure means owner is only utilizing their own wealth and second is the debt structure the owner can may refer to the borrowing of funds by the banks and other financial institution so in this capital financing they will decide how much amount of equity they required or how much amount of debt they required so according to they decide their investment part and after the investment part they decide how much return they have to give lastly that is the dividend and return policy the dividend and return policy focus more on how much shareholders are invested in their money into their business and according to their percentage of investment they provided with the return facility in terms of their dividends so let lastly see about how this corporate finance work this corporate finance work according to the four parts of an element first is the capital structure deciding how much amount of debt you required or how much amount of equity you required the standard debt equity ratio is 2 is to 1 it is preferable to offer or to borrow debt two times more than your equity value so that you can timely pay returns to the company and there is less amount of loss into the business secondly is working capital requirement working capital requirement means to look into the day to day operation third is dividend distribution policy how much profit you are going to distribute to the shareholders and how much profit you are gaining and how much retained earning you are left over with the profit and lastly is the capital budgeting capital budgeting is basically to ascertain the requirement of funds into the future value and to adjust the profit according to the available funds so this all the elements of the corporate finance in next lecture we are going to see the principles of corporate finance till then study this thank you so much